guys. Uh, making a foray into the uh, refrigerator, otherwise known as my shop. I think when I looked at the thermometer it's up to about a balmy 30 degrees. Every piece of metal is very cold. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm only out here just to start off a bit of explanation on uh, a short video I'm trying to get together. It's following on from a mention I made about setting up a quill stop on the mill. And uh, my viewer friend Terry Gift, who kindly gave me some drills recently, he uh, emailed me with a description of what he, I think what he'd done, I think it was what he'd done, anyway it sounded extremely logical and uh, I'm going to follow that course and uh, I'll do a bit of handheld in a minute and just explain what's in mind and then we'll go to the uh, CAD because I've started off drawing up what I'm seeing as the components very simple in essence. So uh, I'll show you a bit closer what I'm thinking on the uh, mill, yeah? By the way I'm only using the uh, camera mic today. No point setting the radio mic up. Anyway here's the scheme. Here is uh, I think this is two and two and seven eighths I think something like that. No wouldn't it? No, it isn't. Measures up at 3.08. So, taking a piece of aluminum plate, I had thought of uh, 3 eighths, but I've got a piece of half inch. So, we'll cut out a piece with a hole to go around here and a um, clamping, a slit and clamping over there. We'll project out. We'll project out this way, it's going to be about, uh, about two and a half inch. And then using these holes I'd referred to before, I'll have a piece of bar and then a right angle, probably weld a piece on here with a hole in it. And if the end of the pencil is the end of the rod I'm going to use, it will uh, screw into the aluminum plate. It'll come up through a hole in the right angle piece and the top will be threaded uh, probably with a pair of nuts which will give me a limit factor. Alright, is that clear as mud? <laughs> you probably get the idea. Anyway, that might help you uh, see what's what when we get to the uh, CAD aspect, if I can get it complete. OK guys, we're in CAD land now. I hope the sound's alright. I think it might be a bit woolly. So you'll have to bear with me on that. Anyway, what I'm going to try and do is, is explain the current planning for uh, this quill stop. Uh, incidentally, I've got a what's like a loose mouse wheel so sometimes things go a bit crazy anyway here's the basic plan view of the mounting piece to the quill um, I've got everything dimensioned up for the time being things may change but I think it's I got it fairly close uh, these are showing as radii but they were based on uh, diameter originally and and here is for the exact diameter for the quill plus a bit I didn't dimension that, it's about a sixteenth saw cut and we'll thread quarter twenty here for a bolt and that is there we are, you see this damn mouse button a uh, wheel so that's tapped UNF 520 that basically I think is all you need to know on that. Incidentally I'm probably going to do this in stages to make sure the video is usable. That's about it on there I think. I'll just show you the uh, 
if I can find it. There we are in 3D. Just give you some idea of the of the. Uh, this may seem a bit jerky because of the uh, screen capture. Yes, it is. It's normally a lot smoother than that. <laughs> God, this is ridiculous. There you are anyway, it gives you some idea, doesn't it? All right, we'll move on from this to the uh, mounting bracket, I think. That's probably best. Right. Um, I've called this the quill bar. It's actually, this is what will mount to the side of the casting, the quill housing. It's pretty straightforward. That's the uh, center, centers for the holes, which are actually M5. I said M4 in a previous video. So we've got holes here for the M5 bolts. Now here, um, I've got no angle big enough to cut down, so I'm going to have to this is nominally a one inch piece added to the quarter so that's why it's 1.25 and there that'll have to be a fillet weld so it'll be a bit of fun there to try and make a fairly tidy aluminum weld with the TIG otherwise um, that basically is just a clearance for half inch and I don't think you need to know much more about that. And the 3D is it's pretty straightforward. I couldn't get a fillet to take on here to simulate a weld, but that's basically how it's going to be. Although actually with this thickness I could. Possibly, if I chicken out from welding it. <laughs> I may well uh, drill from the other side and put a couple of bolts in. That would probably make sure I get my 90 degrees. Anyway, that's something else for, for later. Alright, that's that bit. And we'll come back to the very boring little bit of rod, which is the other third main component. Well, in the drawing here, there's no thread showing. I guess there wouldn't be. Anyway, it's academic. So we've got a half inch diameter, four and a quarter long, and it's going to be threaded full length. I debated what, on that, whether to do full length, but I think it's probably, I don't know whether I can get all thread, 520, get 5.513, but I may do this in the lathe, I think, so that it, uh, keeps nearly full diameter. I only need a half inch one end to go into the uh, aluminum collar for the quill but then I need a, a good two inches of thread available for the uh, full quill travel so I think we'll probably go for full length on that and the uh, 3D, well that's not very exciting is it? except it looks vaguely threaded. All right, so that's that. And finally, in a minute, I will come to the uh, assembly, which will give you a better idea, I suspect. Right, let's see if we can keep this in frame without it diving off into nowhere. So there's the uh, threaded rod. We've got a couple of nuts on it, which I may well refine later. I could probably do with a couple of jam nuts actually. So that goes on the quill housing with a couple of M5s, okay. This doesn't have to project all that far, but the plane of the quill housing to the quill itself is not in line, so the the quill ring, if we call it, instead of being exactly in line with the bracket will actually come out I think something like that probably which is why we've got quite a bit of projection here it's if my measurements are right it should work out 
So that would be there, something like, uh, I'm guessing, probably with the quill nearly fully up. And then uh, we've got this thread available for the drop and the nuts for the limit, which we probably set to the first component and or the ZDRO and then go away on uh, repetition. So there it is. Very jerky, I'm afraid. The uh, frame rate on this is not very generous. But that gives you an idea. Oh, there's the... Uh, I've got a cap screw for tightening the ring. I'd thought of counterboring for that, but really I don't think it's at all necessary. Just have that straight on. Keep things simple. All right. So there it is, guys. That's basically the plan, if I can get out in the shop and make the darn thing. And uh, we have actually got a bit milder today and tomorrow, but then it's going to go crazy. And I think this will have to be on the back burner for now. Anyway, there we are. It gives you some idea of what we're planning, plus uh, me practicing on the, on, uh, the old CAD getting to grips with it to a certain extent better than I was originally I think Randy Richard would probably be fairly pleased with my progress <laughs> considering I got his help earlier on for some of the real basics all right guys I'm in my chaos corner surrounded by post-it notes um, that's about it <laughs> I hope that was giving you some idea of what it's all about. I look forward to making the darn thing. It's going to be fun making that piece of aluminum. That'll be a challenge in itself, won't it? All right, anyway, that's it for now. Just another interim video out of the shop. Um, might have one or two other small things in mind, but it's going to get super cold, as I think I said. So it's back burner for these things. All right, thanks for watching.